Yeah. Okay. Dean. Hey, Dean. That was amazing. Oh. Just amazing. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. <laughs> oh. No big deal. Hey, get changed and let's all go out and celebrate. Oh, thanks. I got plans. We'll, we'll break them. I don't want to say what the moral of the film is. I don't know. I wanted to ask questions. I wanted to ask questions like what happens when you value expansion more than your community, more than yourself? And what happens to a world? You're talking about America, but I'd like to talk about the world. Forgive me for saying what we all know. There is a global crisis right now. And in Europe, it's collapsing. And this is in some part, as you said, to people who are getting away with it. I don't know where the morality of the world has gone or the country has gone in America, but I believe that we're all capable of something much more. And the fact that this family has to pull together is a decision that they make. Who am I to say what each person, what each individual or family, what decision they would make under these extremely tough situations and dilemma? I'm not here to judge them, but I am here to ask questions, where have we gone as a world that the people who profited the most have gotten away with it and are dancing on top of everybody else? Dad, I can't. I mean, I get these every weekend. Hey, you can have this one. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye. Good job. Hey, Dean. I was proud of you out there. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I really enjoyed playing the character of Dean. I thought he was very complex. I understood him in certain ways, um, very strongly, his relationship with his family and with his father. Uh, loving his father very much, but not at all wanting to follow in his footsteps. Um, he feels that his father has this... Uh, sort of skewed perspective of the American dream, which is expand or die. And it's led him to his father being a pretty ruthless guy in many ways. So Dean's sort of um, racing to get away from father, following in his father's footsteps. Um, there were a lot of things I didn't know about Dean, like how he, uh, you know, based in loving his family and being such a good guy, turns to do some pretty, pretty heinous things. Um, and that was the part of the character I really wanted to explore with Ramin. And um, we had a great time, a great time doing it. Uh, I, I'm not that good at racing cars in real life. Um, I learned pretty quickly for the film, but my only experience racing cars is speeding away from paparazzi <laughs> at this point. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I know who Ferrari is. Uh, someday I want to get one, if at all possible, if the movie thing works out. I think my career is in a good, uh, a good place right now. It it's just gets more interesting for me day by day. Um, but this is a, a, a great moment for me because I really, I really enjoy working on the type of film that Ramin set out to make here. Um, I'm always asking myself, what is the bigger picture of filmmaking? And Ramin is past just making a film and, and selling it and getting people to watch it. He, he really goes and, and experiences a world and, and um, learns questions to ask. And, and um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this experience, which is pretty profound in my opinion. <laughs>